Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. Death is a sad yet inevitable part of life. At some point, you will die, and there is some weird kinda creepy stuff that starts to happen to your body. First off, after you die, your body will start to get cold. In fact, every hour after you die, your body will get about 0.8 degrees Celsius cooler until it reaches room temperature. And meanwhile, your cells will start dying from a lack of oxygen since, you know, your lungs are no longer working and your heart has stopped beating. But this lack of oxygen won't kill them right away. Way. Instead, they will live for several minutes. And during this time, there are still chemical reactions occurring that produce carbon dioxide and increase the acidity of the cell. Enzymes in the cells then start to digest the cell membrane, causing the cell to break down and start leaking. And the enzymes that escape can go on and break down the other cells around it. Creepy, huh? And fun fact, when your muscles relax after you die, it may lead to you peeing or defecating if you haven't used the bathroom in a while. Anyway, later on, blood starts to spill out from broken blood vessels, and since it isn't flowing around your body, you will start to look pale. Now, if you're lying down, as you probably will be, the blood will begin to travel down thanks to gravity, and it will be settled in the lowest regions along your backside. And this will eventually lead to discoloration. About two to six hours after death, rigor mortis kicks in. When you are living, you are able to contract and relax your muscles at will. But with rigor mortis, after your cells have used up the last of their energy supply, the protein fills elements allowing your muscles to move become locked in place, which is why dead bodies are so stiff. And this stiffness usually lasts for about three days. A few days after death, putrefaction begins as the bacteria in your gastrointestinal tract will start to break down tissues and cells, liquefying your body and producing horrific smelling gases like methane and hydrogen sulfide. And with the production of gas comes the bloating of your belly. The gas pressure causes any liquids in cells and blood vessels to spill out, which may eventually start to leak out of your body. And sometimes the pressure is so great that the abdomen bursts open, which is definitely an image that will haunt my dreams forever. Thank you for animating that, okay? Okay? And since your body is smelly, it will attract blowflies that will lay eggs in your rotting flesh, leading to the birth of maggots within a day. These maggots feed on your flesh, attracting beetles and other insects. Boy, this is a beautiful episode. 20 to 50 days after death, a process called butyric fermentation begins as the flesh is removed and your body dries out, and the parts of your body touching the ground start to develop mold. Then over the course of years, all your flesh has been decomposed and is eaten by various insects and animals, and all that is left is your skeleton. So it's not a pretty process at all, and it sure doesn't smell nice, but it sure makes me happy that most of the time someone dies, their body is quickly disposed of, so no one has to witness all of that. But hey, at least the science is interesting, right? Death might seem scary, but sometimes it's fascinating. Head over to our friend Rob Dyke's channel to learn more. But that suddenly changed as Matthew, with Jennifer in the passenger seat, for unknown reasons, crossed into the opposite lane and crashed head-on into a brown Volvo containing two passengers. Thank you for living, and don't forget to leave your suggestions for future videos in the comments section below. We're gonna be making more of them, people. As always, my name is Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.